My dear friends, if you are satisfied with this tutorial, please help me to develop this channel, so please press the like or dislike button. It is highly important to me, thank you, thank you very much for your support. Let's start the lesson. Basic Usage of I'm I'm is a contraction of the words I am and serves as the first-person singular present tense form of the verb to be in English. It is used in a variety of ways to indicate a state, action, or identity. Examples I'm Lisa and I work as a graphic designer. I'm here at the party, where are you? I'm happy because I got a promotion at work. I'm a teacher and I love working with children. I'm Italian so I enjoy cooking Italian cuisine. I'm at home so feel free to come over. I'm holding your book, I'll return it tomorrow. I'm tired after a long day at the office. I'm running a marathon to raise money for charity. I'm going to the movies tonight with my friends. I'm fine with that plan, it works for me. I'm tall so I can reach the top shelf easily. I'm the owner of this car and it runs smoothly. I'm asking for your help with moving the furniture. I'm going to visit my grandparents this weekend. Variations of I'm within, at, and on. These variations indicate different locations or situations where I'm can be combined within, at, or on to specify one's whereabouts or current activity. Variations of I'm in. I'm in the room. I'm in the room studying for my exam. I'm in the car. I'm in the car on my way to work. I'm in the office. I'm in the office, so I can't talk right now. I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen cooking dinner. I'm in the library. I'm in the library, searching for a book. Variations of I'm at. I'm at the park. I'm at the park, enjoying the sunshine. I'm at the cafe. I'm at the cafe, meeting a friend for coffee. I'm at the airport. I'm at the airport, waiting for my flight. I'm at the gym. I'm at the gym, working out. I'm at the doctor's office. I'm at the doctor's office for a checkup. Variations of I'm on. I'm on the bus. I'm on the bus heading downtown. I'm on the train. I'm on the train reading a book. I'm on the plane. I'm on the plane traveling to a new city. I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof, fixing the antenna. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone with a client right now. I'm good at. This is a phrase used to indicate proficiency or skill in a particular area or activity. It highlights someone's competence or talent in a specific endeavor. Examples I'm good at playing the guitar, I've been in a band for years. I'm good at solving math problems, which is why I love my job as an engineer. I'm good at cooking Italian cuisine, especially pasta and risotto. I'm good at public speaking, I've given several successful presentations at work. I'm good at managing finances, so I handle the family budget. I'm good at problem solving, I always find creative solutions to challenges. 
I'm good at graphic design and I've designed logos for several businesses. I'm good at playing chess, I've won many tournaments. I'm good at writing poetry, it's my way of expressing emotions. I'm good at time management, which helps me balance work and personal life effectively. I'm good at photography, and I enjoy capturing beautiful moments during my travels. I'm good at teaching, and I find it rewarding to help students understand complex concepts. I'm good at staying calm under pressure, which is an asset in my high-stress job. I'm good at event planning, and I've organized several successful parties and gatherings. I'm good at computer programming, and I've developed several useful software applications. I'm. These are some common uses of I'm plus, verb, in English, demonstrating how it can be used to express various actions, emotions, habits, likes, dislikes, qualities, and states. Examples I'm currently working on a new project at the office. I'm trying to learn a new language to broaden my horizons. I'm enjoying a relaxing evening at home with a good book. I'm considering joining a yoga class to improve my flexibility. I'm interested in volunteering at the local animal shelter. I'm constantly striving to improve my communication skills. I'm excited about planning a surprise party for my best friend. I'm running a marathon next month. I'm feeling excited about the upcoming vacation. I'm studying for my final exams. I'm an early riser, I wake up at 6 a.m. every day. I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat meat. I'm a fan of classical music. I'm patient when dealing with difficult situations. I'm healthy, thanks to regular exercise. I'm getting can be used to express various states, actions, developments, and feelings in different situations. Examples I'm getting older. I'm getting a new job at a different company next month. I'm getting tired after working all day, I need a break. I'm getting better at playing the piano with practice. I'm getting married in June, and we're planning a small ceremony. I'm getting ready to go out with friends, I just need to change my clothes. I'm getting a cold, so I'm taking some medicine to feel better. I'm getting a message from my friend on my phone right now. I'm getting closer to the city, I should be there in about 20 minutes. I'm getting the hang of this new software after some practice. I'm getting worried about the weather, it looks like a storm is coming. I'm getting hungry, let's find a restaurant to eat. I'm getting to know my new co-worker, we've been chatting during lunch breaks. I'm getting a promotion at work due to my excellent performance. I'm getting my hair done at the salon this afternoon for a special event. I'm trying. This is used to convey various efforts and aspirations in different aspects of life. Examples I'm trying to lose weight by following a healthy diet and exercising regularly. I'm trying to quit smoking, so I've cut down on the number of cigarettes I smoke each day. I'm trying to save money for a vacation, so I'm reducing my expenses. I'm trying to learn Spanish by taking online language courses. I'm trying to improve my cooking skills by experimenting with new recipes. I'm trying to be more patient with my colleagues, even in stressful situations. 
I'm trying to find a better job with more opportunities for growth. I'm trying to overcome my fear of heights by gradually exposing myself to tall buildings. I'm trying to be more organized at home by decluttering and creating a schedule. I'm trying to become a better writer by reading and writing regularly. I'm trying to mend my relationship with my sibling by having open and honest conversations. I'm trying to get into a good college by studying hard and maintaining good grades. I'm trying to build a successful business by developing a solid business plan and marketing strategy. I'm trying to stay positive despite challenges in my life by practicing mindfulness and gratitude. I'm trying to reduce my carbon footprint by using public transportation and recycling more. I'm gonna. This is a colloquial and informal contraction of I'm going to plus, verb. It is often used in casual conversation and represents future actions, plans, or intentions. Examples. I'm gonna go to the store to buy some groceries later. I'm gonna call my friend and invite them to the party. I'm gonna win this game, just watch. I'm gonna help you with your project, so don't worry. I'm gonna leave soon because it's getting late. I'm gonna be there on time, you can count on me. I'm gonna grab a snack. I suddenly got hungry. I'm gonna attend a concert this weekend with my friends. I'm gonna watch a movie later. Do you have any recommendations? I'm gonna learn how to play the guitar over the summer. I'm gonna take a quick shower before we head out. I'm gonna meet up with Mark for coffee this afternoon. I'm gonna enjoy the weekend. I have some fun activities planned. I'm gonna tell her the truth about what happened. I'm gonna visit my family during the holidays. I have. This is a common phrase in English, and its usage can vary depending on context. These examples demonstrate the versatility of the phrase, expressing possession, ownership, physical attributes, relationships, qualities, experiences, responsibilities, and more. Examples I have a car that I use to commute to work. I have a house in the suburbs where I live with my family. I have blue eyes, just like my mother. I have a sister who lives in another city. I have a good sense of humor, and I enjoy making people laugh. I have a memory of my childhood when I used to visit my grandparents. I have a job as a teacher, and I love working with students. I have a duty to complete this project by the end of the week. I have a dream of traveling the world and experiencing different cultures. I have an opportunity to study abroad, and I'm considering it. I have a preference for spicy food, so I always order dishes with extra chili. I have a degree in psychology, which I earned from a prestigious university. I have a challenge to overcome, but I'm determined to succeed. I have a talent for playing the piano, and I often perform at local events. I have a friend in New York who I've known since childhood. I have. This is a structure commonly used in English to express various actions, events, or states that have occurred or been completed in the past. Examples I have visited Paris several times in my life. I have eaten sushi before, but I can't remember when. I have traveled to many countries and experienced diverse cultures.
I have grown a lot since I started my new job. I have read three books this month, and I plan to read more. I have lived in this city for five years, and I still enjoy it. I have just finished my work, so I'm ready to relax. I have lost my keys, and I can't get into my house now. I have been studying for hours, and I need a break. I have already eaten dinner, so I'm not hungry. I have watched that movie three times because I love it. I have seen the new art exhibition, and it's amazing. I have achieved my career goals through hard work. I have heard that song before, but I can't recall when. I have broken my phone, and I need to get it repaired. I used to. This is a common English phrase used to describe actions, habits, or situations that were regular or common in the past, but are no longer so. Examples I used to smoke, but I quit a year ago. I used to prefer tea over coffee, but now I enjoy both. I used to play the piano when I was a child, but I haven't played in years. I used to be interested in astronomy and would spend hours stargazing. I used to live in New York, but now I reside in California. I used to date John in college, but we broke up. I used to work as a teacher before I became a writer. I used to collect stamps as a hobby when I was younger. I used to wake up early every day when I had a long commute. I used to believe in ghosts when I was a child, but not anymore. I used to wear glasses, but now I wear contact lenses. I used to be a vegetarian, but now I eat meat. I used to want to be a doctor when I was in high school. I used to live in a small apartment before moving to a house. I used to play soccer in high school, but now I watch it on TV. I have to. This is a common English phrase used to express obligations, duties, or requirements. I have to go to work tomorrow because it's a weekday. I have to finish this report by Friday to meet the deadline. I have to take care of my younger sister when my parents are away. I have to eat breakfast before I leave, it's important. I have to wear a uniform to school as per the school's policy. I have to tell the truth even if it's difficult. I have to pay my taxes by April 15th to avoid penalties. I have to exercise regularly for a healthy lifestyle, according to my doctor. I have to attend my friend's wedding this weekend to show my support. I have to do the laundry today because we're running out of clean clothes. I have to study for the exam to perform well. I have to attend a meeting at 2 p.m. as part of my job. I have to pick up my children from school after their classes. I have to pay the rent by the end of the month to avoid late fees. I have to catch a flight tomorrow morning for my business trip. I wanna. This is an informal and colloquial way of saying I want to plus verb in casual conversation. It's commonly used in spoken English and informal writing to express desires or intentions. Examples I want to go to the beach this weekend. It's been so hot lately. I want to learn how to cook so I can prepare my favorite dishes. I want to travel the world someday and experience different cultures. I want to see that movie, the trailer looked amazing. I want to try that new restaurant in town, I've heard great things about it. 
I want to know what happened at the party last night. I want to get this project done as soon as possible. There's a deadline. I want to play some video games with my friends later. I want to help you with your homework. Just let me know what you need. I want to start a new hobby like painting. It seems relaxing. I want to have pizza for dinner tonight. It's my favorite. I want to finish this task, but it's taking forever to complete. I want to succeed in my career and achieve my goals. I want to learn a new language. It's on my bucket list. I want to buy a house by the beach someday. It's a dream of mine. I gotta. This is an informal and colloquial way of saying I have got to plus, verb, or I have to plus, verb, in casual conversation. It's commonly used in spoken English to express obligations, urgency, or intentions. Examples I gotta finish this report by Friday, it's a tight deadline. I gotta call my mom later to check in on her. I gotta leave for the airport in 30 minutes, so I need to pack quickly. I gotta eat something, I'm starving after that long meeting. I gotta see that concert, my favorite band is performing. I gotta lose weight and get in shape for my health. I gotta meet up with Sarah later to discuss our project. I gotta help you move this weekend, just tell me the details. I gotta finish my chores before going out with friends. I gotta find my lost wallet, it had my ID and credit cards. I gotta deal with this annoying situation at work. I gotta catch the last train home, it's getting late. I gotta attend a family event this weekend, I can't make other plans. I gotta go to the new amusement park, it just opened. I gotta take care of my pet while my parents are away on vacation. I would like to. This is a polite and formal way to express a desire or request in English. It's commonly used in various situations to indicate what you want or what you would like to do. Examples I would like to request a day off next week for a family event. I would like to have tea instead of coffee, it's more soothing. I would like to inquire about your products and pricing. I would like to learn more about this subject. It fascinates me. I would like to ask if I can leave early today due to a personal matter. I would like to help you with your project if you need assistance. I would like to invite you to our party this Saturday, we'd love to have you. I would like to travel to Europe next year and explore different countries. I would like to suggest going to the park this weekend for a picnic. I would like to thank you for your help with my project. I would like to inquire about room availability for the upcoming weekend. I would like to apply for the position and contribute to your team. I would like to offer my assistance if you need it during the event. I would like to clarify some points from the presentation for better understanding. I would like to kindly ask for your support in our community initiative. I plan to. This is a phrase used to express intentions or future actions in a formal or structured manner. It is commonly used to outline one's goals or objectives. Examples. I plan to travel to Europe next summer to explore different countries and experience new cultures. I plan to pursue a career in medicine and become a doctor to make a positive impact on people's lives.
I plan to earn a master's degree in economics to advance my career and gain a deeper understanding of the subject. I plan to improve my cooking skills by taking cooking classes and experimenting with new recipes. I plan to save for retirement diligently to secure my financial future and enjoy my retirement years comfortably. I plan to attend workshops to enhance my leadership skills and excel in my professional life. I plan to visit all seven continents during my lifetime to fulfill my passion for travel and exploration. I plan to buy a house in the next five years to have a stable home and invest in real estate. I plan to start my own business and be my own boss to pursue my entrepreneurial dreams. I plan to have children in the future when the time is right and create a loving family. I plan to complete my PhD within four years and contribute to research in my field of study. I plan to run a marathon next year to challenge myself physically and achieve a significant fitness goal. I plan to learn a new language to broaden my horizons and communicate with people from different backgrounds. I plan to volunteer at a local shelter to give back to the community and help those in need. I plan to reduce my carbon footprint by using public transportation and adopting environmentally friendly practices in my daily life. I've decided to. This is a phrase used to express one's determination or choice to take a specific action or make a particular decision. Examples I've decided to quit my job and start my own business because I want more independence. I've decided to adopt a healthier lifestyle and exercise regularly to improve my overall well-being. I've decided to pursue a career in medicine and become a doctor to help others. I've decided to change our travel destination to a more exotic location for a unique experience. I've decided to enroll in a language course to learn Spanish and broaden my horizons. I've decided to invest in real estate as a long-term financial strategy for future security. I've decided to pursue a master's degree in psychology to advance my career. I've decided to propose to my partner and get married because we're deeply in love. I've decided to take a solo trip to explore new cultures and gain new experiences. I've decided to renovate the kitchen to make it more functional for our family. I've decided to donate a portion of my income to charity to support important causes. I've decided to face my fears and learn to swim because it's an essential life skill. I've decided to switch careers and pursue my passion for art because it brings me joy. I've decided to simplify my life by decluttering and downsizing to reduce stress. I've decided to volunteer at the local shelter to give back to the community and help those in need. I was about to. This is a phrase used to describe an action or intention that was very close to happening but didn't occur for some reason. Examples I was about to leave the house when the phone rang, so I stayed to answer it. I was about to buy the red dress, but then I changed my mind and chose the blue one instead. I was about to step onto the road when a car sped by, narrowly avoiding an accident. I was about to respond when I realized I didn't understand the question, so I asked for clarification. I was about to book tickets for the concert, but they sold out before I could. I was about to go home when my friend invited me to stay for dinner, so I decided to stay longer. 
I was about to submit my report when I noticed a mistake, so I had to correct it first. I was about to start my homework when my neighbor's dog started barking loudly, making it difficult to concentrate. I was about to step on a snake while hiking, but I saw it just in time and avoided it. I was about to cross the street when a car sped through a red light, narrowly missing me. I was about to leave for the airport when I realized I forgot my passport, so I had to rush back home. I was about to turn left, but then I saw the road was closed, so I had to take a different route. I was about to accept the job offer, but I had second thoughts about the company's culture. I was about to explain my point when the meeting was adjourned, so I didn't get a chance to speak. I was about to board the plane when I realized I left my suitcase behind, causing a delay. I didn't mean to. This is a phrase used to express that an action was unintentional or accidental. It is often used to clarify that the speaker did not have any ill intent or purpose behind their actions. Examples I didn't mean to bump into you in the crowded room, it was an accident. I didn't mean to confuse you with my explanation, I'll try to clarify. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings with my comment, I apologize. I didn't mean to send the email to the wrong recipient, it was a mistake. I didn't mean to oversleep and miss the meeting, my alarm didn't go off. I didn't mean to surprise you, but I finished the project early, which is a good thing. I didn't mean to forget our anniversary, it completely slipped my mind, and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry when I didn't answer your calls, my phone was on silent. I didn't mean to arrive late, there was unexpected traffic on the way. I didn't mean to spill coffee on your shirt. It was an accident, and I'll help clean it. I didn't mean to criticize your work, I was offering constructive feedback to help you improve. I didn't mean to leave you out of the meeting, it was an oversight on my part. I didn't mean to wake you up, I dropped something in the kitchen, and it was loud. I didn't mean to include that confidential information in the report, it was a mistake. I didn't mean to step on your foot, I apologize for the accident, and I hope you're okay. I don't have time to. This is a phrase used to indicate that someone is too busy or occupied to engage in a particular action or activity. Examples I don't have time to watch TV tonight, I need to finish my work to meet the deadline. I don't have time to go shopping, I have back-to-back -back meetings all day, and I'm swamped. I don't have time to cook dinner tonight, I'll order takeout instead to save time. I don't have time to socialize during the week, I'm focused on completing my project on time. I don't have time to join the gym right now, my schedule is packed with other obligations. I don't have time to read a novel at the moment, I'll stick to shorter articles for now. I don't have time to volunteer this weekend, I have family obligations to attend to. I don't have time to take a long lunch break today, I need to catch up on my tasks. I don't have time to start a new hobby right now, I'm focusing on advancing my career. I don't have time to run errands this afternoon, there's an important meeting I must attend. I don't have time to go to the movies this week, I have exams to prepare for. I don't have time to take a vacation this month, work is too hectic with the new project. I don't have time to start a new relationship right now, I'm a single parent with responsibilities. I don't have time to engage in social media, it's distracting and takes up too much time. 
I don't have time to skip my exercise routine. It's essential for maintaining my health. I promise not to. This is a phrase used to make a commitment or assurance that one will refrain from doing a specific action in the future. It signifies a commitment to avoid a particular behavior or activity. Examples I promise not to lie about what happened, I'll tell the truth. I promise not to betray your trust by sharing your secrets. I promise not to invade your privacy by going through your personal belongings. I promise not to disclose sensitive information, I'll keep it confidential. I promise not to cheat in the game, I'll play fairly and honestly. I promise not to hurt your feelings intentionally, I care about your emotions. I promise not to break our agreement, I'll fulfill my part of the deal. I promise not to engage in unethical practices at work, I'll uphold professional standards. I promise not to endanger your safety, I'll take precautions. I promise not to procrastinate on this project, I'll start working on it immediately. I promise not to intrude on your personal space, I'll give you the privacy you need. I promise not to make a mess in the kitchen, I'll clean up after cooking. I promise not to overspend this month, I'll stick to my budget. I promise not to litter in public places, I'll dispose of my trash properly. I promise not to smoke around you, I know you're sensitive to it. I'd rather. This is a phrase used to express a preference or choice for one action or situation over another. It indicates that someone has a strong preference for a particular option. Examples I'd rather stay in and read a book than go to the party. I enjoy quiet evenings. I'd rather take the bus than drive in this traffic. It's less stressful. I'd rather have tea instead of coffee for breakfast. It's my preference. I'd rather not discuss that topic, it's too sensitive for me. I'd rather not accept your help, I can handle it on my own. I'd rather have pizza for dinner tonight, it's my favorite. I'd rather work on this project first before tackling the other one, it's a priority. I'd rather go hiking than stay indoors on a beautiful day, I love the outdoors. I'd rather wear a helmet while riding my bike, safety is important. I'd rather not attend the meeting, but I have to, it's a work requirement. I'd rather be alone right now than start a new relationship, I need time for myself. I'd rather visit a quiet beach than a crowded tourist destination, I prefer solitude. I'd rather study engineering than pursue a degree in biology, it aligns with my interests. I'd rather not have nuts in my dessert, I'm allergic to them. I'd rather travel by train than by plane, it's a more scenic experience. I feel like This is a phrase used to express a desire, inclination, or an individual's current emotional state regarding a particular action or activity. It signifies a personal preference or mood. Examples I feel like going for a walk in the park, the weather is beautiful. I feel like having a slice of chocolate cake, it's been a long day. I feel like watching a comedy movie tonight, I need a good laugh. I feel like crying after watching that sad movie, it was so touching. I feel like dancing, the music is so upbeat, and I'm in a joyful mood. I feel like eating something spicy for lunch, it will wake up my taste buds. I feel like taking a nap. I didn't sleep well last night, and I'm exhausted. 
I feel like exploring that new art gallery downtown. I've heard it's fantastic. I feel like learning a new language. It's a personal goal of mine. I feel like lying on the beach and soaking up the sun. It's so peaceful. I feel like talking to someone about my problems. It would help me feel better. I feel like painting a colorful landscape. It's been inspiring me lately. I feel like inviting friends over for a game night. It's always fun. I feel like trying a different workout today. It keeps things interesting. I feel like reminiscing about our childhood adventures. Those were great times. I can't help. This is a phrase used to indicate that someone is unable to control or resist a particular action or feeling. It implies a lack of ability to prevent or avoid the action described by the verb ing form. Examples I can't help laughing at that funny video, it's hilarious. I can't help feeling anxious before exams, it's a natural response. I can't help eating chocolate when it's in front of me, it's my weakness. I can't help but smile when I see puppies, they're so adorable. I can't help thinking about our upcoming vacation, I'm so excited. I can't help clapping when I hear a great performance, it's a sign of appreciation. I can't help checking my phone for messages, it's become a habit. I can't help blushing when I'm embarrassed, it's a natural response. I can't help feeling hungry after a long hike, my body needs fuel. I can't help getting emotional at weddings, they're so touching. I can't help flinching when something startles me, it's a reflex. I can't help jumping when I hear a loud noise, it startles me. I can't help smiling when I see my loved ones, they bring joy to my life. I can't help admiring beautiful sunsets, they are mesmerizing. I can't help singing along to my favorite songs, they're so catchy. I was busy. This is a phrase used to explain what action or activity someone was engaged in during a specific period when they were occupied or had limited availability. Examples I was busy working on a project all afternoon, so I couldn't answer your call. I was busy studying for my upcoming exams, so I didn't have time for socializing. I was busy attending back-to-back -back meetings at the office, and it was quite hectic. I was busy running errands and doing grocery shopping, but I can meet you later. I was busy traveling for a business conference last week, and it was exhausting. I was busy catching up with old friends over the weekend, so I couldn't join you. I was busy cleaning the house and doing laundry, but now I have some free time. I was busy jogging in the park this morning, getting some exercise. I was busy volunteering at the local shelter all day, helping animals in need. I was busy painting a new canvas in my art studio, it's my creative outlet. I was busy planting flowers in my garden, making it look more beautiful. I was busy writing a novel during my sabbatical, it was a fulfilling experience. I was busy conducting experiments in the laboratory to gather data. I was busy renovating my kitchen last month, and it's almost complete. I was busy taking care of my sick child, and I couldn't leave the house. I'm not used to. This is a phrase used to indicate that something is unfamiliar or not a regular part of someone's routine. Examples I'm not used to traveling alone, so this solo trip feels quite adventurous. I'm not used to living in such a busy city, but I'm starting to appreciate its energy.
I'm not used to working long hours, but this job demands dedication. I'm not used to the cold weather here, and I had to buy a warmer wardrobe. I'm not used to eating spicy food, but I'm trying new dishes. I'm not used to using this new software, but I'm learning it step by step. I'm not used to the customs in this country, so I rely on local advice. I'm not used to being single after a long-term relationship, it's a significant change. I'm not used to waking up early for morning workouts, but I'm building a healthy routine. I'm not used to speaking Spanish fluently, so I practice every day. I'm not used to managing a team of employees, but I'm adapting to the role. I'm not used to commuting by train, I usually drive to work. I'm not used to the corporate culture in this company, but I'm getting the hang of it. I'm not used to high-intensity workouts, but they challenge me physically. I'm not used to the grading system in this school, but I'm working hard to excel. I want you to. This is used to express a desire or request for someone to perform a specific action. Examples I want you to clean your room before dinner. I want you to try the new dish, it's delicious. I want you to take a break and relax, you've been working hard. I want you to turn left at the next intersection. I want you to follow these steps to assemble the furniture. I want you to read this book, it will change your perspective. I want you to stop talking and listen to me. I want you to go out with your friends tonight. I want you to believe in yourself, you can do it. I want you to know that I'm here for you, no matter what. I want you to choose the color you like best. I want you to know that I'm going to make this right. I want you to come to the party with me. I want you to understand that everything will be okay. I want you to set goals and work toward achieving them. I'm here too. This is used to convey the purpose or intention behind someone's presence or actions. Examples I'm here to help you with your project. I'm here to discuss the terms of the contract. I'm here to take care of the kids while you're away. I'm here to assist customers with their inquiries. I'm here to support you in any way I can. I'm here to fix the plumbing issue in your house. I'm here to attend the conference. I'm here to manage the event logistics. I'm here to learn more about your company's products. I'm here to coach the team to victory. I'm here to join the committee meeting. I'm here to find a solution to this problem. I'm here to witness this historic moment. I'm here to concentrate on my studies. I'm here to provide my professional services. I have something. This is used to indicate that someone possesses an item or information that they want to share or discuss. Examples I have something important to tell you. I have something special planned for your birthday. I have something interesting to share about our project. I have something to announce at the meeting. I have something that will make you laugh. I have something I need to confess. I have something that will change your perspective. I have something I'd like to discuss with you. I have something you'll find valuable for your job search. I have something on my mind, and I'd like to talk. I have something I'd love to show you. I have something prepared for our presentation. 
I have something I can do that might surprise you. I have something I'm not ready to reveal yet. I have something for you, but you'll have to wait. I'm looking forward to. This is commonly used to express anticipation or excitement about future events, experiences, or interactions. Examples I'm looking forward to our vacation next month. I'm looking forward to our upcoming business meeting. I'm looking forward to the concert tonight. I'm looking forward to the chance to work on this project. I'm looking forward to the party this weekend. I'm looking forward to seeing my old friends again. I'm looking forward to the competition. I'm looking forward to trying the new restaurant in town. I'm looking forward to learning new skills in the workshop. I'm looking forward to the road trip. I'm looking forward to watching the new episode tonight. I'm looking forward to the arrival of spring. I'm looking forward to Christmas with the family. I'm looking forward to the big game this weekend. I'm looking forward to self-improvement. It's my turn to. This is a phrase used to indicate that it's someone's opportunity or responsibility to perform a particular action or task. Examples. It's my turn to speak. It's my turn to cook tonight. It's my turn to play in the next game. It's my turn to drive this time. It's my turn to do the dishes. It's my turn to pay for dinner. It's my turn to take care of the kids. It's my turn to perform on stage. It's my turn to lead the team. It's my turn to make the decision. It's my turn to answer the question. It's my turn to help with the project. It's my turn to take a break. It's my turn to fix the problem. It's my turn to choose the movie we watch. It's hard for me to. This is a phrase used to express difficulty or struggle in performing a particular action or task. Examples It's hard for me to concentrate when there's so much noise. It's hard for me to believe what they're saying. It's hard for me to let go of the past. It's hard for me to wake up early in the morning. It's hard for me to understand advanced calculus. It's hard for me to resist eating chocolate. It's hard for me to express my feelings in words. It's hard for me to quit smoking. It's hard for me to say no to my friends. It's hard for me to trust someone I just met. It's hard for me to speak in public. It's hard for me to keep a secret. It's hard for me to find time for exercise. It's hard for me to stay patient in traffic. It's hard for me to learn a new language. I'm having a hard time. This is a phrase used to express difficulty or struggles in performing a specific action or task. Examples I'm having a hard time concentrating on this complex math problem. I'm having a hard time understanding the intricacies of this foreign language. I'm having a hard time finding my way in this unfamiliar city. I'm having a hard time staying motivated to exercise regularly. 
I'm having a hard time adjusting to my new work schedule. I'm having a hard time letting go of my childhood possessions. I'm having a hard time juggling work and personal commitments. I'm having a hard time keeping up with the fast-paced technology changes. I'm having a hard time quitting caffeine. I love my morning coffee. I'm having a hard time getting over the loss of my beloved pet. I'm having a hard time managing my finances on a tight budget. I'm having a hard time staying organized with all these tasks. I'm having a hard time adjusting to the sudden change in weather. I'm having a hard time learning how to play the guitar. I'm having a hard time finding a reliable car mechanic. I think I should. This is a phrase used to express one's thoughts or intentions regarding a specific action or decision. Examples I think I should study harder for the upcoming exam. I think I should apologize for my behavior yesterday. I think I should take a break to clear my mind. I think I should go to the doctor to get this checked out. I think I should start saving money for a rainy day. I think I should eat healthier and cut back on junk food. I think I should call my friend to check in on them. I think I should apply for that promotion at work. I think I should exercise regularly to stay fit. I think I should learn a new skill to boost my career. I think I should volunteer at the local shelter to give back. I think I should clean the garage, it's a mess. I think I should save for retirement to secure my future. I think I should confront my roommate about their loud music. I think I should travel more to explore new places. I've heard that. This is a phrase used to convey information that one has heard from others, often indicating rumors, news, or general knowledge. Examples I've heard that she's starting a new job next week. I've heard that they're adopting a rescue dog from the shelter. I've heard that he's going on a backpacking trip through Europe. I've heard that the restaurant down the street has the best pizza in town. I've heard that the movie we're going to see is really exciting. I've heard that they're going to have a baby in the fall. I've heard that the new museum exhibit is absolutely stunning. I've heard that he's taking up photography as a hobby. I've heard that they're planning a surprise party for her birthday. I've heard that they're building a new park in our neighborhood. I've heard that the local sports team won their championship game. I've heard that she's learning to play the guitar. I've heard that they're starting a new business together. I've heard that the weather forecast predicts rain for tomorrow. I've heard that he's studying for an important exam next month. It occurred to me that. This is a phrase used to express sudden realizations or thoughts that come to mind. Examples It occurred to me that I left my umbrella at home and it's about to rain. It occurred to me that I should call the plumber to fix the leaking faucet. It occurred to me that I haven't watered the plants in days. It occurred to me that I need to renew my driver's license before it expires. It occurred to me that I left my laptop at the coffee shop. It occurred to me that I should return that library book before it's overdue. It occurred to me that I haven't paid the electricity bill for this month. It occurred to me that I left my wallet in the car. It occurred to me that I should apologize for the misunderstanding. 
It occurred to me that I haven't walked the dog today. It occurred to me that I need to buy a gift for my friend's birthday party. It occurred to me that I left my gym bag at the fitness center. It occurred to me that I should check my email for an important message. It occurred to me that I haven't backed up my computer files in a while. It occurred to me that I need to pick up some groceries on my way home. Let me. This is a phrase used to make a polite request or offer assistance. Examples. Let me know if you need any assistance. Let me check the availability of those tickets for you. Let me introduce you to my colleagues. Let me fix that issue with your computer. Let me handle the paperwork for this project. Let me provide you with some guidance on this topic. Let me offer my condolences for your loss. Let me accompany you to the event. Let me share my thoughts on this matter. Let me try that recipe for dinner tonight. Let me give you a hand with moving the furniture. Let me show you how to use this software. Let me take your coat and hang it up. Let me get you a glass of water. Let me take a moment to think about your question. Thank you for. This is a phrase used to express gratitude or appreciation for something someone has done or provided. Examples Thank you for your kind words of encouragement. Thank you for helping me move my furniture. Thank you for the delicious homemade meal. Thank you for your prompt response to my email. Thank you for the wonderful surprise birthday party. Thank you for lending me your book. It was a great read. Thank you for your patience while I learned to drive. Thank you for the generous donation to our charity. Thank you for being a fantastic friend. Thank you for the opportunity to work on this project. Thank you for the beautiful bouquet of flowers. Thank you for always supporting my dreams and goals. Thank you for the thoughtful advice you gave me. Thank you for the memorable vacation we had together. Thank you for being a part of our special day. Can I? This is a phrase used to make requests or seek permission. Examples Can I visit your office tomorrow for a meeting? Can I join your team for the upcoming project? Can I borrow your car for a quick errand? Can I have a slice of that delicious cake? Can I attend the conference with you next week? Can I enroll in your cooking class? Can I take a rain check on our dinner plans? Can I interview you for my research paper? Can I sit at the empty chair next to you? Can I watch the TV remote for a moment? Can I bring a friend to the party tonight? Can I walk your dog in the park this afternoon? Can I discuss my concerns with you privately? Can I use your Wi-Fi network to check my email? Can I have a word with you about a business proposal? Can I get? This is a phrase used to make requests for various items or services. Examples Can I get a cup of coffee, please? Can I get a table for two at your restaurant? Can I get a copy of today's newspaper? Can I get a refill on my soda? Can I get a slice of chocolate cake for dessert? 
Can I get a ticket to the evening show? Can I get a room with a view in the hotel? Can I get a copy of your latest book? Can I get a glass of red wine with my meal? Can I get a map of the city for directions? Can I get a receipt for this purchase? Can I get a quote for car insurance? Can I get a prescription for this medication? Can I get a bag for these groceries? Can I get a refund for this faulty product? I'm not sure if. This is a phrase used to express uncertainty or doubt about a particular situation, event, or action. Examples I'm not sure if I can attend the party next week. I'm not sure if she comprehends the instructions. I'm not sure if it will snow this winter. I'm not sure if he submitted the report already. I'm not sure if they'll make it to the meeting on time. I'm not sure if the cake is gluten-free. I'm not sure if we should book the flight now. I'm not sure if he passed the driving test. I'm not sure if they can handle the project. I'm not sure if it's the right choice for us. I'm not sure if she received the invitation. I'm not sure if the concert is sold out. I'm not sure if he followed the recipe correctly. I'm not sure if we have enough supplies. I'm not sure if this decision is wise. Do you mind if I? This is a phrase used to make polite requests or seek permission. It is often used to ask if someone is comfortable or willing to allow a specific action. Examples Do you mind if I take a photo of this beautiful sunset? Do you mind if I borrow your umbrella for a moment? It's raining. Do you mind if I turn off the lights before leaving the room? Do you mind if I sit beside you during the flight? Do you mind if I have a bite of your dessert? It looks delicious. Do you mind if I use your laptop to check my email quickly? Do you mind if I bring my dog to the park with us? Do you mind if I close the window? It's getting chilly in here. Do you mind if I invite a few friends over for a small gathering? Do you mind if I share your contact information with my colleague? Do you mind if I rearrange the furniture in this room? Do you mind if I skip the next meeting? I have a prior commitment. Do you mind if I take a five minute break to stretch my legs? Do you mind if I add some extra spice to the soup? I like it spicy. Do you mind if I park my car in your driveway temporarily? I don't know what to. This is a phrase used to express uncertainty or indecision about how to proceed with a particular action or task. Examples I don't know what to wear to the job interview tomorrow. I don't know what to cook for guests coming over for dinner. I don't know what to say to apologize for my mistake. I don't know what to do with all this leftover food. I don't know what to write in my essay for the assignment. I don't know what to buy for my friend's birthday gift. I don't know what to study in college, there are so many options. I don't know what to do to fix the leaking faucet. I don't know what to paint for my next art project. I don't know what to plant in the garden this spring. I don't know what to ask during the job interview. I don't know what to include in my presentation slides. I don't know what to read next, there are too many good books. 
I don't know what to play with the kids to keep them entertained. I don't know what to do with my free time this weekend. I should have. This is a phrase used to express regret or to indicate that something was not done in the past but should have been. Examples I should have listened to your advice before making that decision. I should have finished my homework before watching TV. I should have saved more money for retirement. I should have exercised regularly to stay in shape. I should have locked the door before leaving the house. I should have read the reviews before booking that hotel. I should have paid more attention in class to understand the material. I should have apologized for my mistake sooner. I should have called for help when the car broke down. I should have cleaned the gutters before the rainy season. I should have bought that stock when it was cheaper. I should have taken that job offer when it was available. I should have visited my grandparents more often. I should have filed my taxes on time to avoid penalties. I should have started learning a new language earlier. I wish I could. This is a phrase used to express desires, hopes, or regrets about something that is not currently possible or likely. Examples I wish I could travel to exotic destinations around the world. I wish I could play the piano like a professional pianist. I wish I could meet my favorite celebrity in person. I wish I could stop time and savor this moment forever. I wish I could dance as gracefully as a ballet dancer. I wish I could eat whatever I want without gaining weight. I wish I could teleport and avoid long commutes. I wish I could speak multiple languages fluently. I wish I could read people's minds and understand their thoughts. I wish I could go back in time and correct my mistakes. I wish I could paint like a renowned artist. I wish I could find a solution to world hunger. I wish I could be in two places at once to attend both events. I wish I could have a conversation with a historical figure. I wish I could sing like a famous pop star. You should. This is a phrase used to offer suggestions, advice, or recommendations to someone. Examples You should take a walk in the park to relax. You should try the new sushi restaurant downtown, it's fantastic. You should start saving for your retirement early. You should apologize to your friend for the misunderstanding. You should read more books to expand your knowledge. You should call your family, they miss hearing from you. You should exercise regularly for better physical health. You should take the opportunity to travel while you're young. You should attend that conference to network with professionals in your field. You should plant some flowers in your garden for added beauty. You should consider taking up a hobby to unwind after work. You should ask your boss for a raise if you believe you deserve it. You should wear sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun. You should join a support group to connect with others facing similar challenges. You should give volunteering a try, it's a rewarding experience. You're supposed to. This is a phrase used to indicate that something is expected or required of someone based on established rules, norms, or obligations. Examples You're supposed to brush your teeth after every meal. You're supposed to pay your bills before the due date. 
You're supposed to show up for work on weekdays. You're supposed to use your turn signal while driving. I should have read the reviews before booking that hotel. I should have paid more attention in class to understand the material. I should have apologized for my mistake sooner. I should have called for help when the car broke down. I should have cleaned the gutters before the rainy season. I should have bought that stock when it was cheaper. I should have taken that job offer when it was available. I should have visited my grandparents more often. I should have filed my taxes on time to avoid penalties. I should have started learning a new language earlier. I wish I could. This is a phrase used to express desires, hopes, or regrets about something that is not currently possible or likely. Examples I wish I could travel to exotic destinations around the world. I wish I could play the piano like a professional pianist. I wish I could meet my favorite celebrity in person. I wish I could stop time and savor this moment forever. I wish I could dance as gracefully as a ballet dancer. I wish I could eat whatever I want without gaining weight. I wish I could teleport and avoid long commutes. I wish I could speak multiple languages fluently. I wish I could read people's minds and understand their thoughts. I wish I could go back in time and correct my mistakes. I wish I could paint like a renowned artist. I wish I could find a solution to world hunger. I wish I could be in two places at once to attend both events. I wish I could have a conversation with a historical figure. I wish I could sing like a famous pop star. You should. This is a phrase used to offer suggestions, advice, or recommendations to someone. Examples You should take a walk in the park to relax. You should try the new sushi restaurant downtown, it's fantastic. You should start saving for your retirement early. You should apologize to your friend for the misunderstanding. You should read more books to expand your knowledge. You should call your family, they miss hearing from you. You should exercise regularly for better physical health. You should take the opportunity to travel while you're young. You should attend that conference to network with professionals in your field. You should plant some flowers in your garden for added beauty. You should consider taking up a hobby to unwind after work. You should ask your boss for a raise if you believe you deserve it. You should wear sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun. You should join a support group to connect with others facing similar challenges. You should give volunteering a try, it's a rewarding experience. You're supposed to. This is a phrase used to indicate that something is expected or required of someone based on established rules, norms, or obligations. Examples You're supposed to brush your teeth after every meal. You're supposed to pay your bills before the due date. You're supposed to show up for work on weekdays. You're supposed to use your turn signal while driving. You're supposed to complete your assignments by the deadline. You're supposed to turn off the lights when you leave a room. You're supposed to stand in line and wait your turn. You're supposed to say please and thank you in polite conversation. You're supposed to take your shoes off before entering the house. 
You're supposed to follow the safety guidelines at the construction site. You're supposed to show respect for your elders. You're supposed to keep your phone on silent in the movie theater. You're supposed to listen carefully during class. You're supposed to recycle paper, plastic, and glass. You're supposed to address your supervisor with courtesy and professionalism. You seem. This is a phrase used to describe someone's apparent characteristics, emotions, or state based on their behavior, appearance, or demeanor. Examples. You seem tired after your long flight. You seem excited about your upcoming vacation. You seem confident in your presentation. You seem worried about something, is everything okay? You seem relaxed and content sitting by the beach. You seem upset by the news you just received. You seem enthusiastic about the new project. You seem confused by the directions, let me help you. You seem focused on your work, keep it up. You seem surprised by the unexpected guest. You seem interested in the topic of climate change. You seem relieved that the exam is finally over. You seem impressed by the art exhibit. You seem overwhelmed with all your responsibilities. You seem calm and composed during the crisis, it's admirable. You'd better. This is a phrase used to give advice or make a suggestion with a sense of urgency or warning. It implies that taking a particular action is in one's best interest. Examples You'd better finish your homework before bedtime. You'd better bring an umbrella, it looks like rain. You'd better call the doctor if your fever doesn't go down. You'd better not eat that food, it's spoiled. You'd better save some money for unexpected expenses. You'd better lock the door when you leave the house. You'd better apologize to your friend for your behavior. You'd better start working on your project now to meet the deadline. You'd better take a jacket, it's going to be cold tonight. You'd better be careful when crossing the busy street. You'd better ask for permission before using someone else's things. You'd better follow the instructions for safe operation. You'd better go to the doctor for a checkup soon. You'd better not skip breakfast, it's the most important meal. You'd better clean up the kitchen after cooking. Are you into? This is a phrase used to inquire about someone's interests, hobbies, or preferences. It seeks to understand whether someone has a particular liking or enthusiasm for a specific thing or activity. Examples Are you into hiking and outdoor adventures? Are you into classical music and symphonies? Are you into gardening and growing your own vegetables? Are you into video games and online multiplayer challenges? Are you into astronomy and stargazing at night? Are you into painting and creating beautiful artworks? Are you into cooking and experimenting with different cuisines? Are you into fitness and hitting the gym regularly? Are you into fashion and keeping up with the latest trends? Are you into history and exploring ancient civilizations? Are you into wildlife photography and capturing animals in their natural habitat? Are you into collecting vintage vinyl records? Are you into DIY projects and crafting your own home decor? 
Are you into film and watching classic movies from different eras? Are you into volunteering and giving back to the community? Are you trying to? This is a phrase used to question someone's intentions or actions. It is often used to seek clarification when you suspect that someone may be attempting to do something or has a specific purpose in mind. Examples Are you trying to sneak into the movie without a ticket? Are you trying to avoid answering my question? Are you trying to get me to change my mind? Are you trying to learn a new language this year? Are you trying to break the high jump record? Are you trying to get your siblings in trouble with your parents? Are you trying to win the argument by raising your voice? Are you trying to fix the broken TV yourself? Are you trying to catch a glimpse of the celebrity at the event? Are you trying to surprise your partner with a romantic dinner? Are you trying to find the quickest route to the airport? Are you trying to understand the complex mathematical concept? Are you trying to create a masterpiece with your artwork? Are you trying to impress your date with your culinary skills? Are you trying to convince your friends to join your fitness regimen? Please! This is a phrase used to make polite requests or to ask someone to do something in a courteous manner. Examples Please pass me the menu. I'd like to order. Please close the window. It's getting chilly in here. Please wait for me. I'll be there in a moment. Please call the plumber to fix the leaking faucet. Please turn off the lights when you leave the room. Please make sure to double check your work for errors. Please give me a hand with carrying these groceries. Please pick up some milk on your way home. Please meet me at the cafe at 3 o'clock. Please send the report to my email address. Please be careful while crossing the busy street. Please join us for dinner this Friday. Please don't forget to lock the front door. Please help yourself to some cake, it's delicious. Please have a seat, and I'll be right with you. Don't. This is a phrase used to form negative imperatives or commands, expressing prohibition or advising against a particular action. Examples Don't touch the artwork, it's very delicate. Don't forget to set your alarm for the morning. Don't skip breakfast, it's the most important meal of the day. Don't talk with your mouth full at the dinner table. Don't go out without wearing sunscreen to protect your skin. Don't leave your belongings unattended in a public place. Don't use your phone while driving, it's dangerous. Don't make fun of others, it's hurtful and disrespectful. Don't play music too loudly late at night, it might disturb your neighbors. Don't give out your personal information to strangers. Don't forget to submit your assignment by the deadline. Don't procrastinate, start working on your tasks now. Don't touch the electrical wires, it's unsafe. Don't feed the animals at the zoo, it can be harmful to them. Don't be rude to your classmates, treat them with kindness and respect. Do you like? This is a phrase used to inquire about someone's preferences or opinions regarding a particular thing, activity, or topic. Examples Do you like sushi, or would you prefer something else for dinner? Do you like reading novels in your free time?
Do you like watching action movies or romantic comedies? Do you like the idea of traveling to exotic destinations? Do you like the color blue for the walls in your bedroom? Do you like hiking in the mountains during the summer? Do you like spending your weekends at the art gallery? Do you like going to the gym to work out regularly? Do you like studying in a quiet library or a bustling coffee shop? Do you like the taste of spicy food? Do you like attending live concerts and music festivals? Do you like volunteering for charitable organizations? Do you like taking long walks in the park with your dog? Do you like discussing politics and current events? Do you like the feeling of a warm, cozy blanket on a cold evening? How often do you? This is a phrase used to inquire about the frequency or regularity of an action or activity. Examples How often do you exercise to stay fit and healthy? How often do you eat out at restaurants instead of cooking at home? How often do you study for your exams to perform well in school? How often do you hang out with your friends on weekends? How often do you have team meetings at your workplace? How often do you play musical instruments like the guitar or piano? How often do you travel for leisure to explore new places? How often do you do laundry to keep your clothes clean? How often do you visit the dentist for regular checkups? How often do you read books as a way to relax and unwind? How often do you watch TV shows during your free time? How often do you paint or draw as a creative outlet? How often do you visit your extended family for reunions? How often do you attend church services as part of your faith? How often do you shop for groceries to stock up your kitchen? Do you want me to? This is a phrase used to offer assistance, seek permission, or inquire about someone's preferences. Examples Do you want me to help you with your luggage at the airport? Do you want me to open the window to let in some fresh air? Do you want me to make coffee or tea for our guests? Do you want me to pick up dinner on my way home from work? Do you want me to start the meeting or should we wait for everyone? Do you want me to bring any supplies for the event, such as paper plates or decorations? Do you want me to explain the process again, so it's clear to everyone? Do you want me to accompany you to the doctor's appointment for support? Do you want me to order for you at the restaurant, or would you like to choose your own meal? Do you want me to show you the way to the conference room, or can you find it on your own? Do you want me to check if there are any available appointments with the dentist? Do you want me to proofread your report before you submit it to ensure there are no errors? Do you want me to get you a glass of water or juice to quench your thirst? Do you want me to handle the customer complaint or would you prefer to speak with them? Do you want me to follow the recipe exactly or can I make some modifications to the dish? What do you think about? This is a phrase used to inquire about someone's opinion or thoughts regarding an ongoing action or activity. Examples What do you think about hiking as a weekend activity? Is it something you'd enjoy? What do you think about going for a swim later to beat the heat? 
What do you think about trying a new restaurant for dinner tonight? What do you think about painting the living room a different color to give it a fresh look? What do you think about watching a movie this evening? Any genre preferences? What do you think about redesigning the website layout to make it more user-friendly? What do you think about volunteering at the local animal shelter? It's a great cause! What do you think about exploring a tropical destination for our vacation next year? What do you think about taking up yoga for stress relief? It has many benefits. What do you think about installing solar panels on our roof to save energy? What do you think about trying a vegetarian dish for dinner tonight? What do you think about taking a public speaking course to improve your communication skills? What do you think about incorporating swimming into your workout routine for a full body workout? What do you think about attending a live music concert this weekend? It should be a great show! What do you think about pursuing a certification in your field to advance your career? Why don't we? This is a phrase used to make suggestions or proposals in a friendly and inclusive manner. Examples Why don't we go for a walk in the park this afternoon? Why don't we have a team meeting to discuss the project's progress and next steps? Why don't we meet up for coffee this weekend and catch up? Why don't we try a different approach to solve the problem we've been facing? Why don't we visit a new city for our vacation this year? Why don't we play board games together to make the evening more enjoyable? Why don't we organize a team building event to strengthen our teamwork? Why don't we study together for the upcoming exam to help each other? Why don't we have the meeting in the conference room for a change of scenery? Why don't we work on this project together to combine our skills? Why don't we try yoga for relaxation and improving our flexibility? Why don't we visit the museum this weekend to explore some art and history? Why don't we order pizza for dinner tonight and have a relaxed evening? Why don't we attend a workshop on time management to enhance our productivity? Why don't we watch a classic movie together and reminisce about the past? It's too bad that. This is a phrase used to express disappointment or regret about a situation or circumstance. Examples It's too bad that we missed the last train, now we'll have to find another way home. It's too bad that the concert was cancelled due to the rain, we were really looking forward to it. It's too bad that she couldn't attend the party because of her illness, we hope she gets well soon. It's too bad that the old bookstore had to close down, it had so many great books. It's too bad that he lost his job during the economic downturn, it's a tough situation. It's too bad that they didn't follow the safety guidelines, accidents could have been prevented. It's too bad that I won the lottery and now have to deal with all this money, a sarcastic remark about good fortune. It's too bad that the traffic is always so congested during rush hour, it makes the commute unbearable. It's too bad that the restaurant service was slow and the food was cold, we won't be coming back. It's too bad that our vacation got ruined by the bad weather, we couldn't enjoy the beach. It's too bad that the company is facing financial difficulties, I hope they can recover. It's too bad that I didn't take that job offer when it was available, it was a great opportunity. It's too bad that the movie theater was fully booked, and we couldn't get tickets for the premiere. 
It's too bad that the beautiful historic building was demolished to make way for a modern development. It's too bad that the product arrived damaged during shipping will need to request a replacement. You could have. This is a phrase used to talk about missed opportunities or actions that someone had the ability or opportunity to do in the past but didn't. It often implies regret or the possibility of a different outcome. Examples You could have won the race if you had trained harder. You could have passed the exam if you had studied more. You could have saved money if you had bought the item on sale. You could have chosen a better time to discuss this sensitive topic. You could have traveled the world when you were younger. You could have ordered the pasta instead of the pizza, it's really delicious here. You could have mentioned your connection to the CEO earlier, it would have been helpful. You could have called to let us know you'd be late, we were waiting for you. You could have written a best-selling novel with your talent, it's never too late to start. You could have taken a different route to avoid the traffic, now you're stuck in it. You could have invested in that company when it was just starting, it's worth a fortune now. You could have told me about your dietary restrictions, I would have prepared something else for dinner. You could have been more respectful in your response, your words were hurtful. You could have improved your skills during the summer break, now school is back in session. You could have captured some incredible photos during that trip, the scenery was breathtaking. If I were you, I would. This is a phrase used to give advice or make suggestions in a polite or empathetic manner. Examples If I were you, I would talk to your manager about the issue you're facing at work. If I were you, I would consider joining the gym to stay healthy and fit. If I were you, I would save some money for future emergencies, it's always good to have a safety net. If I were you, I would take a break and relax for a while, I can understand how stressful it must be. If I were you, I would apologize to mend the relationship with your friend. If I were you, I would explore new career opportunities, it might lead to a more fulfilling job. If I were you, I would pursue your passion for painting, you have great talent. If I were you, I would invest some money in stocks for potential growth. If I were you, I would consider moving to a quieter neighborhood for a peaceful environment. If I were you, I would communicate openly with your partner to resolve the issues. If I were you, I would pursue further education to advance in your field and gain more skills. If I were you, I would prioritize your tasks to reduce stress and manage your time better. If I were you, I would make regular doctor's appointments for checkups to maintain good health. If I were you, I would spend quality time with your children to strengthen your bond. If I were you, I would visit Europe for a memorable vacation and cultural experience. It's gonna be. This is a colloquial or informal phrase used to express the speaker's prediction or expectation about a future situation or event. Examples It's gonna be sunny tomorrow, so we should plan an outdoor picnic. It's gonna be a long day at work, we have a lot of tasks to complete. It's gonna be a great weekend with family and friends. It's gonna be hot and humid today, so make sure to stay hydrated. It's gonna be tough to meet the deadline, but we'll do our best. It's gonna be an exciting concert with your favorite band performing. 
It's gonna be tricky to find parking in the city during rush hour. It's gonna be crowded at the mall on Black Friday, so be prepared for long lines. It's gonna be a challenging project, but we can handle it with teamwork. It's gonna be a quiet evening at home, so we can relax and watch a movie. It's gonna be a fun party with games and music, don't forget to bring your dancing shoes. It's gonna be a complex problem to solve, so let's brainstorm different approaches. It's gonna be a serene day by the lake, perfect for fishing and relaxation. It's gonna be an unpredictable journey, but that's the adventure of traveling. It's gonna be a joyful celebration at the wedding, filled with love and happiness. It looks like This is a phrase used to describe a situation or appearance based on visual evidence or observations. Examples It looks like a beautiful sunset tonight with all those vibrant colors in the sky. It looks like rain, you might want to take an umbrella with you just in case. It looks like a busy day at the office with all those meetings scheduled on the calendar. It looks like a power outage, the lights are off in the entire neighborhood. It looks like chaos in the kitchen after cooking a big meal, dishes and ingredients everywhere. It looks like a peaceful park for a morning walk with all the birds chirping. It looks like a field of wildflowers in bloom, a beautiful sight to behold. It looks like a challenging puzzle, the pieces are tiny, and it will take some time to solve. It looks like a cozy cafe to have coffee and red, the ambience is inviting. It looks like a stray cat, it's lost and needs help finding its way home. It looks like a masterpiece painted by a talented artist, every detail is perfect. It looks like a friendly person, they're smiling and waving at everyone they pass. It looks like a clear night for stargazing with no clouds in sight. It looks like a successful event, the attendees seem happy and satisfied. It looks like a vintage car from the 1950s, it has a classic design. That's why. This is a phrase used to explain a reason or cause for a particular situation or outcome. Examples That's why the cake burned in the oven, you set the temperature too high, and it cooked too quickly. That's why I chose the blue dress for the party. It matches my shoes perfectly, and it's a great color on me. That's why I left early from the meeting, I had another appointment to attend, so I couldn't stay longer. That's why the project failed, we didn't allocate enough resources to it, and it became too overwhelming. That's why she looked surprised when you mentioned the party, I hadn't told her about it, so it was unexpected. That's why the room is so messy, we haven't had time to clean it up, and it's been a busy week. That's why he acted so coldly towards you, he's been under a lot of stress lately, and it's affecting his mood. That's why I bought the new laptop, my old one was too slow for my work, and it was causing delays. That's why I gave a brief answer, I didn't want to reveal too much about the project, as it's still confidential. That's why the package arrived late, there was a delay in shipping due to bad weather conditions. That's why we altered the menu, some ingredients were not available, so we had to make substitutions. That's why I took the scenic route. I wanted to enjoy the beautiful countryside along the way. That's why I defended my position, I believe it's the right approach, and I wanted to explain my reasoning. That's why I missed the meeting, I had a family emergency to attend to, and I couldn't notify anyone in advance. 
That's why I support this policy. It aligns with our organization's values, and I think it's a step in the right direction. It's time to. This is a phrase used to indicate that a particular action or event should occur or begin now because the appropriate moment has arrived. Examples. It's time to start the meeting, everyone is here, and the agenda is ready. It's time to move forward with our plan, we've completed the research phase. It's time to take action and address the issue, we can't delay it any longer. It's time to make a change in your career if you're no longer satisfied with your current job. It's time to establish a daily exercise routine to improve your fitness. It's time to reflect on your goals and aspirations and make a plan to achieve them. It's time to relax and unwind after a long day at work, you deserve it. It's time to take responsibility for your actions and make amends. It's time to finish the project and submit it by the deadline. It's time to organize your belongings and declutter your living space. It's time to prepare for the upcoming exam, studying is essential. It's time to make a decision about your future career path. It's time to adhere to a healthy diet and lifestyle to improve your well-being. It's time to take action and address climate change for the sake of our planet. It's time to start a new chapter in your life after graduating from college. The point is that this is a phrase used to emphasize or clarify a specific point or argument in a conversation or discussion. Examples The point is that our company needs to focus on innovation to stay competitive in the market. The point is that I can't attend the meeting tomorrow because of a prior commitment. The point is that education should be accessible to all, regardless of their socioeconomic background. The point is that we should invest in renewable energy sources to reduce our carbon footprint. The point is that teamwork is essential for project success, and we need to collaborate effectively. The point is that the research supports our hypothesis, indicating a strong correlation between the variables. The point is that I believe in equal opportunities for everyone, regardless of their background or identity. The point is that we should save money for future emergencies to ensure financial security. The point is that our goal is to provide excellent customer service, and we should prioritize customer satisfaction. The point is that honesty and integrity are core values in our organization, and we should uphold them. The point is that I offered to help because I care about your success and want to see you thrive. The point is that communication is key to resolving conflicts, and we should foster open dialogues. The point is that climate change requires urgent action, and we need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The point is that we should invest in this opportunity because it has the potential for significant returns. The point is that kindness and compassion should guide our actions, even in challenging situations. How was? This is a phrase used to inquire about the quality, condition, or experience related to a specific noun or subject. Examples How was the party last night? Did you have a good time? How was the movie you watched? Was it as good as the reviews said? How was your trip to Hawaii? I heard it's a beautiful destination. How was dinner at the new restaurant? Did you enjoy the food? How was your presentation at the conference? 
Were the attendees engaged? How was the concert last night? Did the band perform well? How was the meeting with the clients? Did you discuss important topics? How was the soccer game you attended? Was it an exciting match? How was the novel you just finished reading? Did it have a compelling storyline? How was your job interview this morning? Were you confident during the interview? How was the conference you attended last week? Did you learn valuable information? How was your first day of the new course? Was the professor engaging? How was the art exhibition at the museum? Were the artworks impressive? How was your friend's wedding over the weekend? Was it a beautiful ceremony? How was the conference call with the remote team? Were there any technical issues? How about? This is a phrase used to make suggestions or proposals. It is often employed to ask for someone's opinion or to propose an activity or idea. Examples How about going for a walk in the park this evening? How about trying that new restaurant downtown for lunch? How about watching a movie tonight? Do you have any genre preferences? How about rearranging the furniture in the living room to create more space? How about going on a road trip this summer to explore new places? How about playing a board game with friends this weekend? How about incorporating meditation into your daily routine for stress relief? How about contacting customer support to resolve the issue with your product? How about going on a hiking trip in the mountains next weekend? How about volunteering at the local shelter this weekend? They could use some help. How about joining a yoga class for flexibility and relaxation? How about starting a photography project to capture the beauty of your city? How about visiting an art gallery for inspiration? You might discover new art forms. How about creating flashcards to learn new vocabulary more effectively? How about working together on this project to leverage our skills? What if? This is a phrase used to introduce hypothetical scenarios, ask questions about potential outcomes, or explore imaginative possibilities. Examples What if we miss our flight tomorrow? Do we have a backup plan? What if it rains during the outdoor event? Should we rent a tent? What if we take a different route to avoid traffic? It might save us time. What if the project deadline is extended? Would it ease the workload? What if we hire additional staff to meet the demand? Will it improve efficiency? What if the company invests in new technology? How would it impact our operations? What if we go to a different restaurant for dinner? I heard they have great food. What if we incorporate more artistic elements into the design? It could make it more visually appealing. What if we retire early and travel the world? It's an exciting possibility. What if we face a budget cut next year? How can we adapt and still meet our goals? What if the market suddenly crashes? Do we have a backup investment strategy? What if we pursue a different career direction? It might lead to new opportunities. 
What if we decide to move in together? How will it affect our relationship? What if we implement a remote work policy? It could improve work-life balance. What if we start a new initiative to support local charities? It would be a great way to give back to the community. My dear friends, if you are satisfied with this tutorial, please help me to develop this channel, so please press the like or dislike button. It is highly important to me. Thank you. Thank you very much for your support.